Since October of 2022, I've been hosting a monthly Guess the Elo live on Twitch. During each game, every viewer has the opportunity to guess the Elo for that specific round. At the end of the round, whoever guessed the closest gets 3 points, the second closest gets 2 points, and the third closest gets 1 point. At the end of the stream, Diamond, Platinum, and Gold membership are given to the top 3. And as an added bonus, if anyone guesses within 3 Elo in any given round, they also get Diamond membership. If you want to be a part Part of next month's Guess the Elo, stay until the end of the video so you can learn how to participate. But with that being said, here is the October 2024 Guess the Elo. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6. What are we going to get here? Are we going to get a Scotch? Are we going to get a... I don't even know what else there is. I mean, you could play an Italian. You could, uh... Roy Lopez here. You could get a Roy Lopez. We don't play a Roy Lopez. Sorry. Sorry. What did you play? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I thought you played Queen E7, which is not actually legal. Um, D4. So we do get a Scotch game. Are we going to get a Scotch Gambit? I would be very happy if we got a Scotch Gambit. What what are we doing with that with that queen? What are we doing with the queen? What are, what is it doing? Are we gonna checkmate the king on uh, a negative two? Like what what are we what are we doing? This this queen can't go beyond that square. So there's like several good moves here. Knight c three d five uh, d takes is probably okay too. Um, bishop c four even is probably fine. It's just a waste of a move. Queen e seven. Um, Goes d5, I'm happy with that, happy with that. Next move, maybe c4, c4, it's gonna be prepared, maybe. Huh? Is that the best move? Knight d8 is the best move, that is the that is the worst best move I've ever seen. You know how badly you have to mess up for the knight to go back to here? He's like resetting the board to play 960, dude. This is not how we play chess. This is not how, what are you gonna do next? You're gonna go rook b8 and warp the queen to a8? You're in the wrong game mode, bro. Okay. Well, um, knight c3 is a good move. I wouldn't be surprised if c4 is very good. Uh, yeah, if you find rook g1, which is the top engine move, you're cheating, by the way. Let's hope you don't find that. You play knight c3, very good. I, I like this move, very principled. Um, c6, I don't hate. Uh, of course, if you take, suddenly we're getting some development back. Of course, you, you do not take this, though. You can't push, by the way, because there's two pieces looking here. I don't know what you play, actually. Maybe you play bishop c4. Maybe bishop c4 is a natural move to make. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you're losing. Yeah, that's just that's just the one move that you couldn't play. It's it's like it's like a move that's like not even like a. Oh, he might not see it. He has to see it, dude. You've shoved the pawn in his face. Take it, take it. He's not gonna miss that, right? <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> Bro, he's right in front of you! What, did you just believe him? Oh, a pawn? No! I'm a queen? I'm a queen! What will I do against this pawn? Oh, my- Take it, maybe? Fine, queen e6, and now you just got this pawn there. Can you even defend the pawn? You know what's crazy? You know what's actually crazy? He can't defend the pawn. Like, black is still winning because this pawn is undefendable. So let's see what genius movie comes up with next. Knight g5, I don't hate- Oh, okay, no. I thought for a second that he was gonna play like- I thought there was like queen takes and then there's this or something, but no. So, he's attacking the queen. Attacking the queen here. And, uh, I guess if you didn't see that you could capture this once, you're not gonna see it the second time either. The craziest thing is, black is still better. Because you can't defend this pawn. So we continue. Very good move from white. Uh, just bishop c4 here, and we've got some obvious ideas. But suddenly the 960 knight actually has a purpose. This knight that definitely shouldn't be there, you might have forgotten about it. It's actually defending the one threat on the board, which is incredible. Uh, why did we do that? I'll give the benefit of the doubt. It's actually not easy to see why this is bad. Um, just knight takes. Of course you can't take with the- with the queen. If you take like this, uh, just castles, and now the queen is disconnected from the pawn, and this is a passer. That- like, white is winning now. That's a passer. If you take the other way, it's still- you just castle, and- and- and again, these two pieces are disconnected, the pawn is now safe, it's constricting the position, this bishop never gets out. If this bishop never gets out, this rook never gets out, this bishop can't get out. Like, the position is just very, very cramped. And, 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 why is not even down a pawn here? Which is incredible. Um, I assume all of that happens, right? So after 96, I assume all that happens. Uh, or not. H4. 
At least we're not losing anymore. At least we're not losing. Yeah, I don't I don't hate H4. H4, you, this is not an this is not an easy move to see. I like H4. It's obvious fishing pole trap on the uncastled king that will definitely castle there. Um I, I like H4. Uh takes, take with the pawn. I like it. I like it. Uh Bishop defends the pawn. Open rook now. Very good bishop. This knight could use some work. Uh don't know how you're gonna get that into the game. Uh but now this pawn is hanging again. So, does black eventually see the pawn is hanging? We do. Okay. Black finds the hanging pawn. I like it. Question is, where do you go now? Uh, maybe a, a queen e3? A uh, bishop e3, sorry. Queen e2, not something that is doing anything. But okay. b4, just go bishop, d, uh, bishop b3, maybe bishop d3. I like it. I don't hate this move. Feels very natural. Knight e7 feels fine as well. The clear intention is to castle. Get this bishop out long castle and absolutely bombard the black position. Eh, we don't need to play over there. We don't need to do that. Where are we gonna castle? If you're just like throwing everything everywhere, where is the king gonna go? It's also b4, which he probably didn't consider. And now the knight has to do the stupid move that his knight did. Now, now we look like the idiot. Does b4 happen? B4 does happen, and he goes knight a2 because he doesn't want to look like an idiot, but now he's a bigger idiot because now his knight is stuck. He can't go here, can't take, and the bishop's in the way. So you need bishop e3, you need knight c1, and knight d3 to actually get a respectable position again. So black castles, okay. Um, if you find the next move, rook h4, I'm going to call you out for cheating because you didn't find that. You play bishop e3, a much more natural move, and now you're going to castle long, you're going to stack the rooks. Feels good. Okay, bishop gets active on this diagonal, castle long, and you're winning. Yes. I love it. I love it. Castle Long and White 100% wins this game. There's no doubt in my mind that White wins this game. Okay, C5. This pawn is under attack. Are you going to defend it with F3? Are you going to ignore and go for your own threats? Okay. Uh, exchange Sacrifice. Uh, and now Queen here and uh, Queen G6. You just hope they don't play? Oh my god, what did you- I just read the notation. There is no- like, there is- uh, Not in a million years. Not in a million years are any of you guessing what he just played. There's- How did you guess that? He played Rook Takes H7. How did you even guess that? Ban him for mind reading, dude. How did you- You all guessed that? It's so obvious, it's negative five! What do you mean it's obvious? You guys- That's almost the worst move on the board. Like, apart from like, queen a6, there's not many worse moves. Actually, there are no worse moves apart from queen a6. So he plays rook takes h7. Uh, I guess the idea is you go check and hope he doesn't remember that he has g8 to go back to and resigns the game. Um, of course, king takes queen h5, and now you're realizing that you don't have two rooks because you sacrificed one for some reason. Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. That's just, that's just a free bishop. Okay, and we need to spawn in a rook. That's, that's, okay, if white can spawn in a rook, they, they might have good chances here. Oh my god, are you gonna play this? Oh my god, wait, it's, wait it's, there's one idea. There is literally one idea on the board. This knight might as well not exist, because that is literally... I, like, honestly, like, uh, you're gonna raise a wife and kids. You don't raise a wife. You're gonna raise a family of five before this knight gets back into the game, so we can just ignore that knight. You're down a knight, and two rooks. Um, and a, yeah, no. Yeah, you don't raise a wife, that's my mistake. G6 is the only idea. You've got this strong bishop, G6, if he takes, yoink, that's my knight. Play G6, okay. You know what's funny? Knight takes G6 is the only move. This is the only move. Losing the knight is the only move. And he finds it, and you take. Thank you. That's actually pretty impressive. The fact that this game has been so bad and they just found that this is not a free queen is actually somewhat of a miracle, chat. I think we've got to submit that and this, like, like their opponent might get sainthood because that's actually impressive. Okay, the queen takes and you're still completely losing. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's no way that you're winning this. You are down, like, a rook in exchange. And, and, and you're not to mention that your king has like nowhere to go. Uh, okay, I, 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 I guess it does have that square to go to. If you really wanted to move the king, I didn't actually see a reason that you would want to move the king like that. Um, was that, that wasn't a top engine move or anything. No, that's just, I don't know why you did that, but it's, it's fine. You're just giving the king a stretch of the legs, I guess. It's just the classic. 
King d1, Queen f1 check, King d2, check, check, check. Rep rep there's no way you repeat moves. There's surely no way you repeat moves. Why are we repeating moves? Okay, that's different. Wait, no, don't. Oh my god, if he plays Queen f1 check, it's. Oh my god, it's a draw. Does he know? Oh my god, he might accidentally. I swear to God, if he accidentally blunders repetition in a negative 10 position, there's no way. There's no way. Okay. False alarm. I don't know how low to guess. <laughs> Neither do I, dude. Does it go negatives? Yeah, okay, d5. Uh, actually, one of the better moves. It's, it's the best move in the position. It's one of the best moves that's been played in a while. Uh, d5. Okay, Ooh, I, I don't know if... Uh, damage control, possibly? I don't know why we're trading queens here. Yeah, okay, there's no way that white wins. There's absolutely no way that white wins from here. There's, like, actually... Okay, the knight, it's finally... Uh, the wife and kids are being raised. It's coming back. There's still no... There's no way that you win this game, though, right? Uh, yeah, f6. That's what I would play, too. You don't want to... You don't want to open up this rook and we'll, we'll just, like, say, Hey, come get me. I'm over here. No. You, you close the position. Very good. Rook is, uh... Trying to support these boss pawns. I mean, this game is actually just unlosable right now. Like, it's actually unlosable. Is there even a mate? Can you mate with these pieces? You would have to get your king all the way up here. And an illegal move, apparently. And, like, somehow the knight would have to check. Like, this rook would have to go here. A knight would have to check here. This would have to go here. And the pawn would have to go here. That's, like, the only chance that you get checkmate. And it's not physically possible. Um, okay. Attack the bishop. The bishop goes back. Now the knight has no good squares to go to. In fact, the knight could be trapped. The only reason it's not trapped is because it has this reroute. Okay, we're going to try and get our knight back into the game. Again, the knight doesn't have a million squares. I swear to god, if you play knight a2 again... He's gonna play knight a2 again. Please play c3. Please have half a brain and play c3. Please do not play knight a2 for a second time this game. Okay, king e2. It's good. Okay, I like g4. Okay, but the king's getting out. Let's- the king is getting out, and that pawn is, like, gone now. King e3, pawn's gone. c3, good. Okay. Check. Okay, that's all your pawns gone. You've got a three on nothing. Three on nothing here. Okay, you've got an A pawn though. I'm glad you saw that. Oh my god, wait. No, 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 there's- okay. I was gonna say, he's like, the king's getting awfully close to like, it's, it's begging to be put in a mating net, but white just doesn't have the pieces. Okay, this check is coming. Uh, yep, let's, uh, let's just wrap the game up, chat. This- the game's over. There's no way you're not- wait, why? Okay, that's- that's a free pawn. It's sack, sack, sack the rook. Nah, okay, there's no way you win. Wait, what? Take a- this is a free pawn, by the way. Okay, you lose, right? You lose. Tell me you lose. Okay, you lost. I'm so glad that's over. I'm more disappointed than anything. For your own, like, mental health and well-being, there's actually a chance that I don't actually get a reveal the ELO, because that involves revealing your account. And I don't know if, like, mentally you're prepared for the absolute, like, barrage of insults that you're gonna get no matter who you are. Yes, there's no way you're above 600 ELO. Even 600 is generous. Uh, and I'm guessing 600. Revealing the white pieces, who absolutely- well, who's, Whose monstrosity was this? Oh my god, there's no way you're- You are 1001. You had 2 minutes 40 seconds left? What was this, a classical game? How could you possibly have played this badly? This was a 90 move game. This was a 75 move game, and you end with 3 minutes left. This was a rapid game. He played Queen E7 with chest with 5 seconds of calculation. You know what? I'll give him the pass. He's low rated enough where this isn't that much of a shocking game. I'll give him the pass, chat. I'll give him the pass. No, don't mass report this guy. He's like, a, he's like new to chess. Not maybe not new to chess, but he's like, I know he is new to chess. He's been playing for less than a year. But God, that was a bad game. 
How does chess.com think you play 75% accuracy in this game? Are they dumb? I don't understand how chess.com isn't like calling you a slur right now. It just, that doesn't make any sense. 1074 is the ELO. Who got the closest? Did anyone get within three? Narcos with three points, GG Kazar with two, and Bishop Spear with one point. Guess the ELO chat. E4, we get E4, E5. Center game. We haven't got a center game today. This should be very interesting. I know a little bit of theory for this center game. I know that you can either take here or play knight f3. I would probably play knight f3, but a lot of people take. Uh, yeah, that's not how you're supposed to play the center game. Yeah, no, you do this like a hundred times out of a hundred. You play like like knight c6, and like maybe sometimes you play knight knight f6. Knight f6 if your balls are like full of steel, but like on no occasion do you play b b6. And, and white does not need to reinvent the wheel on this move. Oh, why did white reinvent the wheel on this move? What are, are you just, okay, so in a position like this, when your opponent just plays a dumb move that doesn't develop quickly enough, you know what the answer is? You use that time to develop, right? You play a knight c3, you play a knight f3, you play a, a bishop c4 maybe, right? You know what you don't do? You don't play b4. On what planet would that be a good move? Like, what are we doing? Like, after knight c6, you're losing. It's forking the queen and this pawn because the bishop also sees it. Knight c6 found, queen b2. Uh, why did we not take the pawn? The, 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 the top engine move, which is actually very hilarious for, for Wyatt to, to keep the most advantage. Anything else loses the advantage, by the way. Or not the advantage, but equality. You have to play B5. You've committed with B4 and the engine's like, fuck it, just just, just keep going, bro. Like, the engine actually thinks B5 is the best move, and of course, uh, White is not gonna play that, and uh, now, now the pawn is hanging again. And White, uh, Black finds it this time. Bishop takes B4 check is the best move. You should probably play like a, like, I don't know, C3, any of these moves. There's like, as long as you don't move the king or move the queen in front of the, the bishop, you're probably fine here. C3 is an okay move. I don't mind this, Bishop C5. Um, your king is detrimentally weak, though. I like bishop g5, it's not a bad move. Bishop e7, a little bit awkward. You've just moved the bishop, um, and this pin wasn't really crazy dangerous. But it's fine, I mean, you are just off the pawn, so it's not gonna matter. Castles is a good move. Knight d5, I like it. Uh, taking here, I wouldn't take. Fixing the pawn structure and allowing a big center for white. But of course, black does that anyway, because why wouldn't they? Um, takes back, of course. Black is still winning. Uh, e5 is just an obvious move here. Anyone, no matter what elo you are, is finding e5. The knight has to move. Uh, the bishops are probably going to be traded. And uh, what, 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 what's the next plan of action? Bishop d3. Okay, so we're actually... Pl uh, I don't know why we didn't start the game by doing this, but we're actually finding some coherent s strategies at the moment. Um, this is actually... I feel like this position is not as bad as the engine suggests. Um, I actually think that, 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 uh, you know, White's doing a decent job here. Um, Queen E6 is just not a move. I don't know what Queen E6 does. I genuinely couldn't tell you what Queen E6 does. I'm desperately trying to find a good, like, a good reason to play it. I, I mean, F6 is the obvious one. This is pinned. You're gonna break down the Santa. It's just a very good move. Uh, I, I mean, there's several other good moves. Like, C5 is also a decent break. If you really wanted to, Bishop B7 is also not terrible. Like, there's a lot of good ideas here. Queen E6 is not one of them. Castling was one of the good moves. Your idea is to push F4 and F5. And he finds F6. Okay, finds F6. But I feel like a move like F4 is just very good now. Apparently, Knight C3 is slightly better. F4, I, I like from White. Uh, the center is locked now. But I feel like this favors White. Like, you've left, these are both backwards pawns. I mean, not backwards pawns, of course, they can be defended, but defending them is awkward. Defending this like this opens up the light squares of the king, also the dark squares of the king. And defending like this leaves uh, just the backwards pawn on c6. So I don't really like this structure. Knight d2 is not, not bad. I like it. It's getting the knight into the game. We're going for uh, c5 here. I like this from black as well. The knight comes up. Pushing again. Not sure if I like that. Just bishop c2 now. Okay, bishop e2 is also fine. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. Uh, h6, um, the idea is g4. A move that benefits white. I don't know why h6 is played. I guess maybe you're just trying to stop knight g5. 
Queen c7 to attacks the pawn that's defended twice. I mean, if you wanted a good move, g4 is actually a decent move here. Uh, you go takes and knight h4 and uh, bishop's attacking this. You're threatening f5, which is the main points. So say uh, he plays a6, you're going to play f5. And now the knight is coming up here, defended. Queen c2, we'll live with it. Rook f7, let's play... Uh... What does that do? What does that actually do? I actually... Uh, so I was confused about queen e6 as a move and what it does. I just, like, I... Queen, queen b1 actually just does nothing. I actually don't see a single thing. Like, it, I actually don't see a sing. I don't think there is a single reason to play queen b1 in this position. He wants the bishop on c2. I swear to God, if you play bishop d1 right now and that was actually your idea, I'm going to lose my mind. The idea of queen b1 was actually to play bishop c2. You know what's crazy? Bishop c2 isn't really a good move either. Like it's 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 not a great move. Go crazy. I mean I mean uh, you've got a pawn to defend now, so okay. Let's not defend it. So knight takes f4 is possible. The discoveries aren't good enough. Knight takes f4. You've dropped the pawn. Okay, you're going for this. I can see the idea, but 92 check. Uh, just a fork. Just a fork. He has to sacrifice here, and then you play knight takes. Bro is always two steps ahead. I don't think it's hard to be two steps ahead of these guys. They've been walking backwards since they started playing chess, dude. I, it's really, really not a, not a. You, you know what? That's 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 like that's like um that's like going into the special class and bragging about your grades, bro. That's like it's it it feels like this isn't uh an achievement. Um, are we gonna find? We gotta find. Okay, we play knight takes, so we don't actually find the reason that uh you're you're winning. I don't think that white is th doing much thinking actually. Now that I think about it, I don't actually think much thinking is going on right now. I think it's all. Uh, I don't even think that. I, I, like I genuinely don't even think that vibes were going off here because. I, th I think you could actually, like, make random moves on the board and they would still be better than the ones being played. Like, actually, if you left chess up to chance, which is really bad, by the way, because there's a lot of fucking possibilities in the game of chess. If you actually left the game up to chance, I think it would make more coherent moves than being played right now. Like, genuinely. G genuinely, I think that, uh, chance and probability is better at chess than you right now. Um, the queen goes back, just walking into a fork. And he even though I know he can escape... Uh, he can escape the fork with the intermezzo. Just like the knight here is just too good. That move is not as bad as it looks. Because it actually, you know what? I don't care that it doesn't work. What I care about in this position, the move knight takes h6 check. You know what I care about? I care that there's actually thoughts. Like in the brain, there were things that were being considered. That's what I like about the move. Because the idea is to, to take with a skewer like it makes sense the move makes sense that's what i like about the move that's what i really like about the move and he has to respond to it he takes rook takes f7 is also a good move taking first here you have to take with the king if you take with the queen you unguard the bishop that was the whole point of what you did i don't say this often but it comes a time where you have to you have to kind of consider if you're ever gonna get better you know, like, studying chess and playing chess takes a lot of time. And sometimes in life, you do have to make that consideration of whether that's time well spent. And in your case, I actually think that it's not time well spent. I think that you should give up. I mean, let's let's see how the game progresses. Takes with the queen. I mean, that was a no-brainer. It was always going to happen.Atever you do, don't trade the queens right now. Thank you. Queen, queen f3 is actually, like, a decent move. A, a bishop e3, e6 is just crushing right now. I mean, you just lose the game. Rook f1 has to be played. At least you found that. I don't know about that move. Uh, hey, there's just no good moves. Uh, he, he, black black can, like, I, I don't know, like, like I, I, the, the black would have to do something monumentally. I can't say that word anymore. I think it's, like, not allowed. But it's monumentally, like, stupid to, like, mess this up from here. Like, it, it would actually, um, it, it, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible for somebody to mess up a position like this. Okay, play, play g3. Be safe. Okay, rook e2 is good. Rook f2 is good as well. It is, like, queen b1 check. Okay, now, now play a3. Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. I think bishop e4 is the idea. Um, yeah, I, okay, uh... 
Okay, you know what? This is actually decent progress from 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 wide here. I I, I don't mind this. No, okay, now you are getting mated. You probably have to go like uh, queen b two or something. Queen c one. Okay, he sees the. Th oh my god, thoughts have thoughts have happened again, Chad. We've manufactured a thought in this player's head. It's one has formed. Chat a thought, an intelligent thought has ar arisen in the. This is like finding life on Mars, chat. This is actually- I don't know why you guys aren't like- This- this is actually groundbreaking. Okay. Okay, now Queen D2, you've got to defend. Queen D2, okay. But there is an idea here. There is an idea here. Okay, I don't know what that does. Okay, we're making- okay. Bro, he really, he really was like, Oh, I got checkmate, I got checkmates! Wait, why didn't the game end? <laughs> crazy, dude. Yeah, the, the, the crazy thing is, you've, th this is, this is like, uh, this is, this is like, you've pushed, like, black has pushed white into taking the queen. There is no other option. Like, the king can't go anywhere, you can't blunder here. It's impossible to blunder. It is actually impossible for, for white to make a bad move here. Rook takes, bishop takes, king takes, bang, how do you, you cannot lose this game. Take, okay, there was a free pawn there, you could have not, okay, take, uh, fine, easy, bang, amazing, oh my god, groundbreaking. Okay, now just don't stalemate, okay, another queen, perfect, I love it. Check, 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 bang. I'm reporting you when I find out who you are, by the way, I'm actually gonna, I'm not joking, I am reporting you, um... Uh, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna guess that you're around 400 ELO. I'm gonna give any everyone 15 seconds to guess what ELO they think this guy was, and then I'm gonna report his account when we find out who he is, because, you know, I, I just think, uh, I'm just disappointed. We were guessing for the white pieces, I guessed 400 ELO, and if they're anything higher than that, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. The white pieces, you are... That's my moderator, dude. I am reporting you so fast. I'm reporting you for unspeakable things, dude. Can I click all of them? Oh my god, we actually need to unmod him. That's 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 on that that is unacceptable. You are. What's the worst one? Is this one illegal? I think it is. Oh my god, you have 1800 daily rating and you played this abomination. Why does Chess.com think you played 71% accuracy? No, he didn't. There is no way they found 17 best moves in this game. Yeah, you're lying. Connor with three points, who is who with two, and Merle's with one. I don't know if you, I, I, like, I genuinely don't know if you wanted to get points that round. Like, I genuinely think if you didn't get points that round, you won the round. Okay, let's go next game. Let's begin. E4, Sicilian. So we get a, we get to watch a Sicilian from the perspective of the white pieces, which we haven't done so today. And we get an Alapin Sicilian, okay. Usually against the Alapin Sicilian, I would play Knight F3, so already with Knight, F, Knight C6, I'm already a little bit unfamiliar. Knight F6, I like these lines where you go for this, and, and, and you, get some, you get some really nice lines, but... Um, Knight c6 is also a variation, just one that I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't know much about. Uh, so black is obvious, uh, white is obviously going to try and strike for the center, and immediately I feel like that must be a mistake. I feel like you put the wrong pawn in the center. d5 feels a lot nicer because the queen sees it, and you're opening up a file for your queen. I thought d5 was the idea, but e e5 I suppose maybe is working, I'm, again I'm not sure. Um, d5, knight d4... And, uh, just white has a big center here, and it feels like black doesn't have any compensation for that. Uh, so bishop c5 is played. It's a decent move. Uh, bishop d2? I don't know, uh, What are we doing? I don't know what that- I don't know what bishop d2 does. Uh, it's not a good move. It's- it's- it's a bad move. It gives away a big advantage of, like, uh, a little bit more than half a pawn. Which, positionally speaking, is really bad coming out of an opening. Uh, but black has to be clinical here. Black has to find um, one of two moves, both of which are queen moves. Of course, they do not find it. They needed to find uh, queen h6 or queen b6 here. But instead, they attack the loose pawn. Knight c3 easily defends that. Uh, castles. Uh, knight g3 is going to be a good move for white. 
And actually, if, if White can find this 9G3 move, I actually think that White might be better in a couple of moves. Um, yeah, that's not a good move. So even if that wasn't a bad move, it still wouldn't have been a good move. Like, so your idea is to bring the knight here, but even if it could come to that, you're still gonna get taken. Because there's knight takes d4, and the queen sees the knight, and I know that you get this. But now I'm gonna play knight a4. And everything is held. And even if you didn't, I'm pretty sure queen takes h5 is still very good for white. Like, there is just no good, like, outcome for black here. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's... We'll be fine. Uh, okay, so you're kicking the bishop away for seemingly no reason. Now taking the Santa. Taking the Santa. Okay, this doesn't threaten to trap the bishop, by the way. It has c7. And the knight has jumped in. Now you can take on f4. See, this is what I was saying. Even if even if this knight move was, a, was not a bad move, it's still not a good move. Because it just takes. Takes, and you lose the pawn. Done. That's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Um... And that didn't... I don't want to play anymore. Can we just, uh... Can we just do this? This feels, this feels, uh... This feels good. I don't want to come back, to be honest. I think I'm just going to stay on this screen for a while. I think I'm just gonna stay here for a while, guys. I don't know if we, uh, I don't know if this is working out. How do you lose in 12 moves? It's just been depressing, to be honest. It's like, you know, Chad, like, so this is the way I see it, right? So, like, I, I, I put up videos on my YouTube, right? And it's like, there's a lot of videos with, like, advice on how you guys can get better at chess. Do you guys not watch them? Do you guys, like, look at the video and it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not watching that. I'm, <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> is that what you guys, like, like, that is mon- this is a monumentally bad game. Monumentally bad. Like, if I played this game on stream, I would never hear the end of it. I'm gonna guess... 1,200. You guys have 15 seconds to guess, and then I'll close the guesses. And let's see, I said 1,000- I don't even remember what I said. I don't actually care either, because I- I mean, uh, is it really a flex to get this game? Um, we're guessing for the white pieces. There is no 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 you guys need to stop talking because I know I know you guys see like oh he's sick oh 1600 he blundered that what an idiot like how like no 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 first of all this was a five minute game second of all you have three minutes 53 seconds to make a move and you spend one minute and four seconds blundering mate in one you are 1631 ELO. I'm so close to reporting you. Wait, have I lost against you? How have I lost against you? Oh my god, this is embarrassing for the brands, chat. Oh my god, no. Say it ain't so. This was recently. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> How did I lose? Um, let's let's reveal the ELO, guys. Let's 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 see who won. The closest was Hugh with three points, Vice with two, and Magnus with one. There we go. Vice now in first place. Chat, look how tight it is at the top, dude. It's actually pretty tight. Um, let's go next game. Let's begin. We've got E4 and the Scandi. Oh my God. I pray that we're gonna get a certain line of the Scandi, and by certain line, I mean E takes Queen takes d5, knight c3, queen a5, and b4, please! I want to see this on the board. I love this line, dude. This line is so good. Maybe not even rook, rook out. So I, I think uh, this, is, this, this is the most fun line, right? The land hot gambits. This is the mo most fun line. Because H H six immediately just loses because of bishop t uh, bishop takes f seven here check and no matter where you go I'm x raying the queen on the other side. This in fact doesn't happen sadly. Uh, instead they uh, okay so so we played d four we're going into the black maw gambit. Not sure anything about this this opening. 
Uh, is F3 a move? F3 is not really a move. You can't, it's like, it's like the, no, it's not really a move, okay. Uh, so you go Knight C3 here, apparently. I, again, I'm in the dark here. The Knight comes out. Now you want to play F3, maybe? F3, there you go. Takes, takes, eh, taking with a Queen? Yeah, I think I like taking with the Knight better. No, F3 is good, it gets, just gets uh, quick developments, very very quick developments, uh, but taking with the queen just feels very wrong here. I mean, E6 also feels very wrong, now now, now just something like uh, B B bishop F4, there's, B uh, there's uh, bishop D3, maybe bishop C4 is also good, um, bishop G5, uh, just blunt as a pawn actually, that's just a free pawn, uh, black doesn't find it there, but now... White can long castle, and suddenly the position actually looks very good for white. Uh, instead, they develop another bishop and again allow black to take this pawn for free. Black doesn't want it though, clearly. Um, clearly doesn't want it. Again, you should long castle. White does find that. Uh, you can't really take here anymore, uh, because the rook would pin your knight to the queen. So, uh, black then castles, the knight comes out, finally this pawn is adequately defended. The knight comes out, I mean, uh, I guess bishop takes, knight takes is the idea here. Okay, that's, that's bad. Yeah, so this is, this is just bad, you need to boomerang back around with the bishop, because if you do this, you just lose all the pawns. Right? You just lose all the, whoops, you just lose all the pawns, right? There's probably even a better continuation. Is there a better continuation? Okay, bishop takes first is better. Yeah, so, so just going here, and, and now you've got tempo, you, you trade off with tempo. So, um, it's just sli slightly better, but yeah, queen takes is just not the move, and I would assume, okay, takes off in the wrong order, but it's still better, I mean, you, you, you've just won the pawn back, and, and so suddenly you've got all of the activity, uh, f from the gambit that you played. Um, immediately, black tries to counterattack the bishop, but you can just drop the bishop back to b3 and be completely fine, bishop c4 is also acceptable. Um, I would probably bring a rook to, to e1. Maybe maybe even just throw the knight up the board. Rook rook H E one. Rook D E one is the top engine move, um, which you find very nice. Uh, you can probably just drop back here. Um, King B one. There's also knight F four, which is really good. King B one. I like. It's a very natural move. Uh, a little bit tricky here. You need Bishop B three now. Yeah, Rook. Okay. At least they didn't sacrifice the two pieces for the Rook. At least that didn't happen. Um, Rook HF1 is a good move. Also bringing the Knight is very good. I spoke too soon when I said they at least they didn't sacrifice material for no reason. Yeah, this is just bad. Because you've not- you've got no compensation for this and you've just lost the game. Game's gone, chat. The game's gone. There's- like, there's actually zero chance that Black wins from here. Holy, dude, this is a minefield of terrible moves. You ha you actually have to see this. This is a mine. Look at the notations. What happened? You didn't play a single good move for the rest of the game. How is that possible? How? Wait, sorry. They just blundered this, and you've still not managed to find a good move. You played King B1. Oh my God. Okay, and they defend it. At least they're playing some decent moves. So what are you going to come up with now? You play H4, which is an inaccuracy. But, I mean, you are still winning because, uh, I mean, they sacrificed the two pieces for the Rook, which is just bad. Uh, now they come with B5, and you can just drop your Bishop back. This is a slow move. Bishop comes back. The Queen, for some reason, is on B4 now because this pawn is definitely the important. It's the crux of the game, isn't it? You know, it's not like knight f5 can just easily defend it, and even if we do play a stupid move and push, this doesn't matter. It doesn't matter one bit, because we're just gonna keep- we're just gonna ignore it, because that pawn meant nothing. It meant nil. You have two rooks that aren't doing anything. They have never raised a wife before. The- like, you- you see what I mean? This rook, this knight, this queen, this bishop, they all have raised wives. But these rooks, they, they don't know what they're doing. It's ridiculous. Queen b4, okay, so surely you find- I mean, it's very difficult to find a bad move here. Um, so the reason that a- like, sacrificing the pawn this way was good, because you make progress and you start chipping away at the structure, right? 
But this this move, a sit, a3, this doesn't make an improvement to your position. It just pushes black into what they wanted before. And now they haven't even lost the move for it. And now you have the brain to go h5. They go a5, another, this is just a flurry of like bad moves. Dude, this looks like a, a bushfire. It's just red, yellow, and orange notations on all of the moves. Like, actually somebody call the fire department because this is ridiculous. You know what, if g6, there might actually be like some ridiculous knight h5. No, g takes and, and what? Oh, oh, check and you just slip over because the queen defends, okay. So what happens? Okay, h6 and g6 actually occurs. So don't play uh, knight h5. Thankfully you don't. I cannot explain the next move. I guarantee you guys just never guess what the next move is. It's actually just unbelievably like mid. No, it's not even a funny move. Like it's not, oh, oh bishop takes f7, he's so, no, it's, it's not even, like it just doesn't make any amount of sense. Why? Is the idea to play knight f5 and after takes you're gonna check? This is still like, he goes king h8 and you have no attack. I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, in a position like this, by the way, if you wanted a good move, knight e4 and you just like, you're just gonna win, right? If they play a4, you're gonna play, uh, I mean, knight f6 is good. There's also queen f4, which just threatens to check and take. So now check, uh, bishop c2, queen d8, knight f6 check, king over, queen e5, and you can see this position is just very good, but uh, rook h3 just doesn't help. Doesn't help at all. It's moving a piece for the sake of moving a piece. Fortunately, your opponents played uh, a4, which is also kind of a nothing move. It's like, hey, I kind of want to attack your king, but I'm going to freeze the pawns on my way to doing so because I don't really want to attack it that fast. You know, we, we, slow, so let's do things slowly here. Um, goes back to c2. The game is completely even on evaluation. Um, b4 played. Do not be mistaken, Chad. B4 is only a blunder if they find one specific move, and we all know that's not fucking happening. Like, they're not finding the move. Like, they're just not. They're just never finding the move. Um, the move is 92. And the fact that I can't immediately explain why the move 92 is, is the best move in the position goes to show that these guys are never finding why 92 is the best move in the position. Essentially, like, if you go queen e5 here, you're just gonna take, and the engine thinks that there is no breakthrough here. It just thinks prying the queen away from that square is so important, and of course that's never going to be found. He's going to use one of my ideas that definitely didn't work. And again, this is like a good example of pushing your opponent to winning. It's like sometimes you can play a move that's dubious, and it's actually worse for you, but there's a chance that your opponent might not see why it's worse for you, and you get away with it. This is not one of those moves, because they just take the knight, and suddenly, you don't have anything. Like, you can try to go for this, but just queen g1 check, and I think you can see the problem here. Like, it just doesn't work. I, I swear to- I, this better not happen. Okay, he goes rook g3 check first. Fair enough. He's checking, but now the rook's gonna come and liquidate the board. You're taking, okay, now you just lose to the same I- I'm not sure why I'm surprised that black didn't find that. Yeah, I mean, white has to find it. White does find it. It's mate. That's the end of the game. Um... You know what, just this once, I'm gonna review the game before we actually look at the ELO, because I wanna see exact- I wanna see chess.com t- Oh my god, there was more misses than best moves. Bro, this is a little bit of this, little bit of that our game, dude. Actually just hitting all of the fucking, uh, notation quotas. Two great moves, six best moves, five mistakes, four misses, two blunders. I guessed 800 ELO, chat. 800 ELO in this game, we're guessing for the white pieces. That's actually unbelievable that your 1300 ELO, at your grown ELO, you play this game. Uh, who got the closest? Andrew Tate got three points, Bournemouth with two, who is who with one? There you go. Black Pieces, guess the ELO chat. 
here we go. E5, E4, E5. Very nice. E4, E5, and we got this classic. Which one are we going to get? Are we going to get this, this, or this? It's pretty much the only things that anyone ever plays. Uh, I take it back. That was also something that I... I mean, it's... Does anyone play this? Is, are you... A, what is the point of playing D3? Apparently, this is Book. Which I... Yeah, this, this is exactly what I thought. It looks like a reversed Philidor. And I actually have no idea why this would ever be a thing. Call system on drugs? Yeah, call, well, not really. Call system is default. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's called King's King's Pawn Opening, King's Knight Variation. So that's like the most NPC opening I can think of. And already, I'm going to say that this is like 200 ELO. And they're just defending the pawn because they think they need to. So Knight F6, and we're transposing into the Petrov. But I just feel like this is just a stupid decision from 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 White to play D3. Any okay okay so following the stupid decisions, we're playing H3 for absolutely no reason. There's just absolutely no threat on the G4 square. Um, I don't know why we're wasting another move here. We're playing H3, whatever. It doesn't give that much of an advantage, but you're wasting time here. Okay, Bishop C5. Black is actually making logical moves. I can guess who is going to win this game. It's probably going to be the black pieces. Bishop E2. It's a logical move. You want a castle. All these pieces are sleeping, but eventually you'll get them out, I'm sure. D5. Striking in the center. Top engine move. Black's on fire. D5. Takes. Take with a knight. Got a castle, White. Got a castle. Plays Bishop D2. Again, very slow. We want a castle. And now Black's going to castle with a massive lead on development. Black does have a brain and castles. The knight comes out, uh, we can take on c3, we can probably ignore the threat altogether and maybe maybe play uh, uh, rookie 8 maybe, there's lo 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 lots of decent moves here for black. Knight f4, a four, I don't hate, the engine doesn't love it, but I actually don't hate this move, uh, trading off the, uh, well, we get to keep the bishop there basically, I, I, I mean we do give white the opportunity to castle, but I think this is generally fine. Yeah, so knight e4 is a problem now. And now we don't really get anything, but they take and okay, so we're not we've not fixed our problem. So taking goes back because you could take back with the queen, and now this is not a problem, um, because we're gonna play bishop e7 and we're gonna wrap the bishop around this way, maybe knight d4 at some stage. But if you take with the pawn, now knight e4 is just very possible, and they do indeed play it. Queen e7, you lose the bishop, and now you're back to square one where white is actually better here. Um, again, the bishop kicks the queen around. It just looks like a bad Tartakawa, doesn't it? <laughs> this position just looks like an awful Tartakawa. Tartakawa gone wrong. Somehow this pawn wandered up the board, like, like very far. Um, I mean, this pawn got traded off somehow, and uh, your rooks aren't connected. Just does, looks like a, a very depressing Tartakawa. I, okay, for some reason I thought that was a rook on e1, and I thought he just blundered the game away. I wouldn't mind a bishop at 5 at some point. Okay, that's... That's not... These moves do not need to be played. Okay, I actually quite like this. Okay, I I don't know what's going on. So, um, I think everyone just forgot what the point of the game was for a few seconds. Because, like, we were playing, like, decent moves, and then White decided that the knight wanted to be on H2. You know, just deactivating, maybe rerouting, but... And, and then Black decided that, do we develop the pieces, or do we move the queen again? We should develop the queen again, of course. The idea is, obviously, that bishop takes h3, um, king h2 is to get out of that, and then knight e7, but bishop e2 makes no sense. I mean, now we're just gonna come in with knight, 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 knight f5, right? Maybe, maybe there's knight d5, maybe knight g6, I'm not sure which is, which is better. The bishop now comes out, we can go for knight h4, maybe. Uh, the bishops now see each other, you're not forced to take because it's defended by two pieces. Um, takes, okay. What's the game plan here? Rookie seven, okay, stacking the rooks. I I, I, I quite like this, I quite like this. This this feels okay to me. Uh, maybe f6. Rook a e8 is also good. Take, do you have to take? Probably, takes, I don't mind taking, takes, takes, oh no. You have to play queen f1. This doesn't really work because you drop this pawn as well. There's also rook e2, which is just diabolically bad. If, if you play rook here, rook takes. Here, check is just going to be a bad day for you. What? That's how you def- Out of all of the ways to defend that pawn, King G2 was not the one I considered. The reason is very simple. Oh my god, there's no way- Oh my god. You guys, chat, 
I want you to all lock in and pay attention to this game. Like genuinely, I'm not even I'm not even like clickbaiting right now. You guys need to pay attention to this game and how it progresses. Cause this is this this has been an arguably awful game so far. Not even arguably. I don't know who the fuck is arguing that this is a this is a good game. It's definitely a bad game. It's a non-arguably good game. Bad game. I'm stupid. I can't even speak. Rookie two is the best move here. Of course, black is not gonna find that. Rookie six is also a good move. You're kind of just uh, creating a massive attack on the king here. The queen is coming back off the check. You want to go back here, of course. Uh, rook g6 check, king h2, and suddenly there is a little bit of life in the position for white. Uh, you want to go for this, trying to get this uh, checkmating idea. The rook comes down, queen h5, rook takes h4. This person has just played the most diabolically bad game I have ever seen and uncorks not only rook e2, sacrificing the rook because you get schmated. Not only, no, 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 no. Not just rook e2. Not just rook e2, chat. But after rook g4, rook takes f2. And if the queen takes, you are getting schmated all the same. And the game ends exactly like this. How could you play such a diabolically bad game and then just, like, do that? Good game, though. Nice moves at the end. Guess the elo. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna report this guy. I, I don't think he deserves a report. I think he gets away scot-free here. You know, the two brilliance at the end kind of made up for it, in my opinion, so... I'm gonna let him off the hook and not report him. And, uh, you guys can guess the elo. Again, I'm gonna copy someone else's answer. Why the hell are you guys all... Why did you guess 1843 Elo? The average guess is 1939? Brother, it's like 1200 tops. Guesses are now closed, but guessing for the black pieces. Oh my god, I actually got within 80 Elo. This is incredible. Am I gonna get some points? 1120, please. Please give me points. It's fine. I didn't want the points. I was just joking about the points, I didn't want them. Doesn't even matter. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video and one of the first Guess the Elos I've uploaded to YouTube. If you want to participate in next month's Guess the Elo, join my Discord in the description below and submit your games through the announcements channel. Also, let me know if you guys want to see the next Guess the Elo also uploaded to YouTube in the comments below. Apart from that, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video.